行くよ First off, some info on the test box. So, it is an Ubuntu 2004 development edition running on Quick Emulator, currently featuring GNOME 334 on Wayland's session. It is pretty much more like an Ubuntu 1910, rather the 2020 edition. So, the first thing I'm going to do, is to open a files window and go to root folder with the admin backend. We can actually shortcut this to colon only, without the double slashes, but anyway. Then, I will create a new text file. Rename it. And open it. And after this stupid zoom, we can edit the file with root privileges, and save it normally with the save button. And note the subtitle and text editor header, reminding us we use the admin backend. But what I really want to show you, is that if we open the looking glass, we can see the text editor is running native on Wayland Display Server. So now we will do the same as before, but this time we'll run admin backend directly from terminal, although this functionality isn't fully supported. But before that, let me quickly show you something on terminal app. First I'm going to create a new profile, and when we have multiple profiles, then we get a drop down menu next to the new tab button, and so far so good. And then, when we resize the text, the full window is scaling. And like that isn't ridiculous enough, window size changes depending the profile, or even a tab on the same profile. I know this isn't the only bad moment of GNOME Terminal, for example look at this search window coming straight from 1800 BC. But I'm wondering, Ubuntu developers have super patched the whole GNOME, with extensions, themes, different settings, and yet, they haven't fixed that super annoying issue that makes the terminal completely trash for many people. Anyway, back on track. So we give gedit, admin and colon, and the location of the file we had created before, which was hello file inside root directory. And again, we get the text editor with admin privileges, so we can edit whatever and save it, exactly as before. And if we check on looking glass, it again runs native on Wayland. I guess that's what most people usually do, so let's open a terminal and see what's happening. To begin with, when we run sudo, we not only grant different users permissions, but we actually run the app with a different user ID. That behavior is considered a bad practice, and to my knowledge, multiple users on the same session aren't even supported by specifications on GNOME Wayland. Not just for security reasons, but there are several other bugs and annoyances, like messing up various user configurations. And you probably know all those, but what you may haven't noticed is that by running the text editor with sudo, we will force it to open as an xwayland client. So, we again can edit our text, and save it too, exactly as previously. But unlikely as previously, if we open looking glass this time to inspect the window, we will see that e-text editor runs as an xwayland client, rather a native wayland window. And you'll probably ask, so what? For start, in GNOME 336 X Wayland runs on demand, only when it is requested from a client. That means you will use additional resources, although it will be hardly the case to run only a single X Wayland app. Okay, to be honest I don't think there are like super huge benefits, but I thought it will be nice to know it. And besides, in 4000 years from now, when X server will be finally gone, you won't be able to launch GUI apps with sudo, so you better be prepared early.
And the last chapter, let's try open the Flatpak text editor directly from command line. So, open a terminal and give, Flatpak run. Or GNOME gedit, admin backend. In the file path. Hit enter. And nothing will happen. I think that's the part of running admin backend from CLI isn't very supported, so Flatpak probably misses a portal or something in this case. And now some homework for you. So, sudo, flatpak run, or gnome gedit, in the file path. What will happen now? First correct answer wins the official Baby Dora t-shirt. And if you don't believe me, ask the guy who has won already won. Well, he is still waiting for it. But he learned that patience is a virtue. No, no, no.